You want to know why young people don't have hope anymore? The poison of this country isn't the youth. Boy, I hope you don't show up to my house if it ever catches fire. I was thinking about this the other day. Why X-Men 97 failed. Okay, and here's why. And I was thinking about my grandfather and my father. My dad and my grandpa still watched cartoons in their older years. But what they watched was reruns of the stuff they watched when they were kids and when they were coming up, right? Okay, and then I watched the cartoons and I never once heard. Now, I we hear the age old, they don't make them like they used to. Right. And it's because times change, interests change in the younger generation, right? Of course, they don't make it like they used, they used to because the generations change and the interests change. But I never once saw my grandfather or my father clamoring, begging to just remake that thing from their childhood. They said, no, I got it right here. I can watch it anytime I want to, and I can watch it as it was. What the hell is wrong? with our generation, the 30 and 40 year olds, that we are clamoring for them to remake the stuff when we were kids. That, that doesn't seem right to me. There's something wrong there. I don't like that. It just, it's, it's strange to me because here's the thing. I like my father and my grandfather. Say, hey, kids, come here. Let me show you what I used to watch when I was a kid. This is really fun. And sometimes my kid, my kids like it. Sometimes they don't. But my kids find the things that they enjoy now today, right? My kids find the things they enjoy now today. And they, dad, look at this. Watch it. And I'm like, I don't. And, I, and I'm the dad now, right? I'm like, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I have no idea, right? Unless I showed it to him. Like, My Hero Academia, we actually, I, all of us love My Hero Academia in the house. My kids love it. My, you know, everybody loves that. You know, the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, because I watched Matt Pat for years. My daughter loves that. And I, I kind of like, I'm, you know, tangentially aware, but she knows way more about Five Nights at Freddy's than I do. But if you want to see success in entertainment... Why would you market to people who literally don't have time to watch your stuff, to read your stuff? Market to the audience who has time after school, who wants to do nothing else other than sit down and be entertained. You know what I do at the end of my day? When I get done with work, I don't sit down and watch a bunch of YouTube. I put on long form podcasts that I can listen to while I'm working on stuff. I'm writing and working on my own YouTube channel. Okay, I'm live streaming. I'm shouting out other projects. You know, I'm trying to help my wife around the house. I'm trying to build a freaking barbecue pit. I'm trying. So I don't have time to sit down and watch like X Men '97. And not only that, I'm like, yeah, but I like I watched X Men '97 when I was kid. Why would I watch this one when the old one like is still there? I'll just go on like eBay and find like a DVD thing and buy that, right? Like, and then I just have the whole collection from. The original show and just watch that like because it's there you could still find it but my kids when they have free time it's too cold outside it's too hot maybe they don't what do they do they sit down and they turn something on to be entertained and they dedicate hours sometimes when it's negative 25 and the wind is blowing guess what the kids aren't really playing outside so they will dedicate hours of their time to sitting there and watching a show and learning about it and then telling me about it and then saying, we want, we want this merch for, 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 for our birthdays and, and for, you know, it's like, all right, well, and so, and guess what? And so now we, as the parents, not only do my kids dedicate whatever little money that they make from, from getting odd jobs around the neighborhood to that stuff. But now they ask us as parents to go spend that money. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Like, and people argue with me about this. They're like, nah, this generation's lost. They don't know anything. I'm like, how can you say that? You're not even trying to reach out to them. And yet the amazing digital circus comes out, takes six months to do an episode and gets 63 million views. And kids are paying attention to it and they're looking at it. And they're like, this, this speaks to me. But you know, but, you know, I don't want to make kids content. Never said you had to. All right? I mean, 
My Hero Academia, I wouldn't exactly say is kids' content, but it's content for everybody. But yeah. Batman Beyond Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they don't need new versions. Yeah. We don't need... We don't need new versions of the thing that already exists. Right? It's not like a freaking car or refrigerator. Like, those shows didn't break down. They just... They're, they're there. They're like, go buy the DVD box sets. Can I find them on eBay? I bet I could find them on eBay. Right? You know, X-Men, the animated series. I bet I could find a DVD box set on eBay that's selling right now. We can go buy it. The thing already exists. It's there. Why do we need them to remake it again? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Disney needs to stop pandering to my demographic because that's what they're doing. And they're failing at it gloriously, by the way. They need to stop pandering to my demographic. And they need to start selling and focusing on the demographic that actually matters, which is the young people. Because you know what? I'm watching a generation of people abandon, abandon young people. You want to know why young people don't have hope anymore? It's because they look at the generation in front of them and they see us as thieves who have robbed them of their future. It's one of the first times it's happened in America. So what we need to do is we need to put time, effort, and energy as a culture into them. And say, look, we can show you how to do this. We care about you. We care about your future. Right? You want to talk about the people who know that the most? Look at it's Mother's Day. Let's shout out to the moms again, right? The moms out there, always pushing you forward, always telling you to reach for it, go for it, get better. Eh, some moms aren't the greatest, but you know what? That's the rule of the dice. But what are we doing? What are we doing? We have, for the first time ever, a generation of adults that isn't giving any hope or guidance or care to the next generation. Guess what? The poison of this country isn't the youth. It's us. Think about that. If the youth is lost and you believe that they are lost and you say, so I'm just going to walk away from God, God, boy, I hope you don't show up to my house. If it ever catches fire, well, the house is on fire. He's probably dead already anyway. I don't understand that. The youth is lost. Might as well just give up on them. And it breaks my heart every time I see people say it. Every time. How selfish can you be? How selfish can you be? And I don't know. Maybe I speak. Maybe maybe I'm saying this because I'm a, I'm a father of four. But I, I couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine looking at my children and saying, oh, you're lost. You're just you're just a screw up. Yeah, don't need to worry about you anymore. I've got my own thing that I want to do. 